your horse is being evaluated by a vet and it, it, you have one of those lanky gated horses and uh, they tell you the horse is neurologic. What I want to make sure you do, of course, check the horse out, uh, but most of the time the vets, because especially the ones that don't know the gated horses, will tell you, look, he's trying to get in my picture, um, you know, not to ride the horse, he's dangerous. What you have to do is use your common sense. If you got a lanky horse and he's just doing his normal lanky stuff, and you know, those horses are kind of wobbly and that's normal for them, that's why they're so, um, swingy and can get up underneath themselves so you know is the horse different than when you bought him is he moving differently or is he tripping more than he um, does stop getting in my picture and um, what you also want to access is have you ridden this horse on trail if you can go down a trail and will you stop okay if you can go down the trail and go down steep hills and that horse doesn't miss a beat but then you get on the flat and he trips and falls on his face that's just the horse not paying attention or dragging his feet because if something was wrong with him he would have fell down the hill or rolled down the hill or you would have got off because you would have felt very unsafe so the same thing is the horse tripping or falling down in the beginning of the ride or is it in the end of the ride when he's lazy and tired and not paying attention if when you go out there and you gait, he doesn't trip or miss a beat, but when you're walking slow or when his head's down and low, he's falling on his face, that's just being lazy because these horses tend to drag their feet and so they'll catch it on things. But you have to use their, your common sense because again, if the horse is neurologic, has a major problem, is unsafe to ride, he's gonna trip all the time. It's not like he's going to trip just when he's walking and not trip when he's gating. That's a lazy thing. So if they're tripping when they're gating and everything they're doing, that's different. But if they're just tripping when they're tired, when it's at the end of the ride or in the beginning of the ride because they're a lazy horse, he just keeps photobombing me. Um, then use your common sense and your horse is probably not neurologic. Ask your vet how many gated horses have they seen? You can ask that. Don't feel bad. Uh, especially if they're telling you to put the horse down. So ask them, how many gated horses have you seen? Of these gated horses, what breeds were they? Because we know the Tennessee walking horses are looser in the back end and they have that overreach, which a lot of the breeds don't. So if you have one of those lanky ones with the big back ends, you know, the ones that you kind of see in the show arena, but you might have it as a trail horse, and they've never seen one of those, they're not gonna be used to what it looks like. And when they twist their hocks and stifles and roll through their hip to get that um, lanky gait, as some of them uh, will do, they're gonna think something's totally wrong with that horse. And it's not you know, their fault, they just haven't seen it before, but you should know that. So you wanna be aware of how your horse moves and is that normal for him? And then also other things to take in consideration besides the horse being lazy or tired is your shoer. Is he shoeing the horse differently than when you got him, right? Uh, you know, if it's a trippy horse, he might need a square shoe. If they got the toes real long, you know, that can make them trippier if they don't pick their feet up. He just, you want me to save you horses or not? Because I have to tell these people. He's like, yeah, I'll try. So, <laughs> oh my God, you're so funny. Um, so it depends on your horse's personality too. If it's a high strung horse that never trips and all of a sudden he's tripping all the time, something's probably wrong. If you have a lazy or very calm horse that just walks down the, th the trail like ho hum, nothing to do, I'm not paying attention, or they're looking all over the place while you know, you're know you going a different direction, those horses are gonna be a little bit more trippy because they're lazy, they're not picking up their feet, and they're not paying attention. So again, use your common sense when you have a vet come out because you have something wrong or, you know, we've had the vet come out and, you know, the horse has something on its leg and this happened to one of my clients, I wasn't there, and they wanted it checked out. So when the vet came out, and it was probably someone new out of school, uh, they pulled on that horse's tail, told them their horse was neurologic and not to ride it. So 
uh, this was some years back, so it took a couple weeks. They got the EPM test back. It was negative, and I said to her, so what did the vet tell you about that bump on his leg? Oh, they never actually looked at it because they were so concerned the horse was neurologic. I said, so did they say they were going to come back out and look at it? No. I said, once they told you the EPM test was negative, did they tell you you could ride your horse? No. So if you don't ask, they don't tell you. I mean, that vet should explain to her, you know, the horse was not neurologic, the horse is safe to ride. And, you know, I've seen some gated horses before, but maybe uh, I haven't seen one like this. So, you know, I didn't know, but it was best to check and make sure your horse wasn't neurologic. That would be a fine answer. But to tell the client nothing, just that the test is normal, so okay, thanks, um, I don't think was handled very well. Okay. So again, I have nothing against vets. Uh, they only get so much time in vet school. They cannot learn everything. They have to learn on the job. And with the research I found, I know they don't have any gated, you know, any courses on gated horses. So it's us educating them as the owners. You yourself need to know what's normal for your horse and what's abnormal. And when it is abnormal, check everything else, you know. It, maybe your horse needs some chiropractic work because its back is out or its nerve is bothering them. You know, we pound on their backs all day and make them do all this hard work. So sometimes it's simple as that or giving them more rest or more time in between to recover. But just, if you're not sure, don't just put your horse down. Because I, I keep hearing all these horrible stories about vets telling people their horses are neurologic and they get put down. And, you know, there can be neurologic horses. It just seems like it's way too many of them. And so if you're going to put your horse down, you know, and they, the test for EPM is coming back so-so, do the spinal tap. What's the difference? If you're going to put him down, you know, do the spinal tap and find out for sure, does he really have EPM or not? Or if they're telling you he has wobbler's disease or compression in his neck, and you can afford it, do an MRI. See if they are right. Because again, if they don't know a gated horse, it might just be that gated horse thing. And so again, the more we teach them, the more we educate people, our vets, our farriers, our friends who are getting them, the better. Okay, apparently he thinks our time is up.